All right, I'm cutting out the panel for the bottom of the rolling base, and I just need to cut four notches, one in each corner to go around those two by four or the four by fours. So I'll show you a quick way to do that if you got a bandsaw. All right, all you got to do is take a width measurement on, on what you got in the base there, and then add an eighth to it for a wiggle room. You can do that on both sides. So I added an eighth this way, and then whatever that measurement was, I did from the front of the blade back, and I just used a magnetic. Uh, stop board so this will create a perfect square. I'll show you how easy it is to cut it All right, I'm just going to cut one side flip it and cut the other one Here's the finished product of that. I had to do two pieces and uh, fit it in there. So it's not the prettiest thing, but it's going to hold everything in the bottom and it's a uh, no more finished thing, so I can throw whatever I want down there and it'll hold up for many years. Alright, the way that I'm making this piece so that it does what I needed to is uh, I went ahead and just milled uh, this is some maple right here and I got it in the dado. And I got the gantry clamped up, and all I'm going to do is take a piece long enough to span you know, both of those ends over here. I'm just going to lay it flush across here, and then mark a line down where that sits on top of that. I'm going to cut off off side of that line, and then all I got to do is attach a board from this side all the way to that side, and screw into it all the way down, and that's going to make it a lot more rigid. All right, so now that the paint is dry on this, I started assembling everything. The first thing I did, however, was I pulled out all of the old lad shoes that were in there because they weren't as long as I wanted them to be. I replaced them with these guys. Um, then I took the ones that were down in the rail before and went ahead and used them to put the steel across that. And the way that I'm putting on this is uh, one side at a time. So you can see I still have all the most of the screws out of that side. I haven't yet assembled that. There's a reason for that, at least the way that I'm doing it, is I've gone and used my setup blocks that I mentioned before. I went ahead and put this rail right back on, using the clamps all the way down, tightening it up. Then I've come back and put this on, and here's the linear carriages on both sides, and you can see that I've got the clamps pulling both of the ends together on either side, right on the rail contact. Then I went in, with again, I change out, put in longer bolts, and extend all the way through here, lock washers and washers, and tighten this guy down really tight, and made sure it was completely square. What I'm going to end up doing is squaring this side to this side. So I just need to get that side parallel to this side. So I'm going to use this, one, and, and I'm going to put the gantry on here, and do it that way. But uh, just a quick look at the gantry, uh, came out real nice. I'm still going to do some touch-ups on the paint. Um, when it's all said and done, I'll fill it in a little bit more, but I just want to get it assembled and uh, hopefully get the other stuff installed shortly. But uh, that's where I'm at right now. Alright, I got it together. And I got the gantry just pretty much resting on the top with some clamps. Um, but I went ahead and started sinking in all these screws down here and it's parallel. Uh, nice and smooth, nice and tight. So what I got to do now is um, I'm just going to go ahead and take a measurement with this as a pretend spoil board all the way across, checking height, checking 90 degrees square, and uh, shimming it on either side as needed to make sure everything's as good as it can be. Um, any of the other adjustments that I can't get out of this will be made on the actual router mount itself. But um, it's operational, so it moves nice and smooth. So that was a pretty big step, and I'm glad it's done. Just a few more adjustments, and I'll be moving on. So I'll call it a wrap for this show, and uh, next time I'll be working on that mount.